First up, he is a professor of linguistics at Columbia University, whose new book is called Nine Nasty Words, English in the Gutter, Then, Now, and Forever. You can find his commentary on Substack.com, and I don't mind saying he's one of my heroes. John McWhorter is over here. John, I mean that. No. <laughs> we, don't, we don't touch anymore, John. I'd like to touch you. <laughs> because I'm such a fan of yours, I must tell you. I'm That's a, good to hear, Bill. Oh, I am. I, I hope some of your friends, that were our mutual friends, have told you that over the years. That you know, I, I admire you so much. Not just because you're a, a voice of common sense, but it takes guts these days to be a voice in common sense. I, I think. Suppose you know. I don't. I don't think of myself as brave because what I really am is a failed lawyer, and my issue is just that if things don't make sense to me then I just want to try to make sense of it and I want people to understand what I mean. And this is the thing. If you are a good black person, you're often told that when it comes to certain race issues, you're supposed to not quite make sense and that you're supposed to deal with a certain kind of word <laughs> magic. I have never felt it. I've always thought I'm black and I would like that to make sense too. And that's why I end up looking brave when really I'm just obsessive. Well. <laughs> Well, what I, what I get so much from listening to you and reading you is that you feel condescended to, which I feel like that, that is... <laughs> Especially <laughs> lately, yeah. Right. And I, I... See, I see that all the time, and I don't know wonder... I, I do wonder why that's not more in the dialogue we have. It's the strangest thing. Like, you read a book like, and yeah, we're gonna have to be specific, White Fragility, which basically says that black people are these hothouse flowers where everybody <laughs> has to tiptoe around us, and, you know, we're always crying, and we're always angry, and we're just so very, very, very delicate. I don't feel like that person. That book is talking down to me as far as I'm concerned. It, should it really be used should be called to Black tables. Fragility, right? Yes, yes, it should be used to keep tables from wobbling. That is the only use for that book. <laughs> and yet... You, you, you look on Facebook and you have people saying, I'm doing the work and reading this book. And I think to myself, <laughs> they are doing the work of making me into a perfect idiot. Right. And yes, why don't more of my fellow black people feel that way? And it's because of a very human thing, which is that it is a very human thing to take on the victim identity. All people do it, we've all known people like that. A way you can do it, if you're a black person, and all of us need to grab onto something sometimes, is to read a book like that and think, yes, I need to be treated that way. And I am gonna start actively parsing it that way, because I don't think people realize what silly babies books like that make us look like. So something, something needs to be said. Right. But I, th I mean, to be fair, I think most black folks do agree with you. It's just the ones, the people, black and white, who are on Twitter. Quite frankly, yes. yes. I know when I it's... say these things, it's not just me and Coleman Hughes and Glenn Lowry and two or three other people. If it no. were something like that, I wouldn't say, hey, look at the way we weirdos feel. It's that I've been black pretty much for 55 years, and I know how <laughs> black people feel. Right. And I always think this certain sliver of people in the media and in academia, I, they're, you know, they're often much smarter than me, but that is not the representative view. And so, for example, if you're gonna read How to Be an Anti-Racist, that is not the general black view of things. That right. should be read, it's like the Bible. That book, if you must read it, should be read as literature, rather than as scholarship. That's not general. And yet, we're told that somehow we have to accept these sorts of things as the black view. And you'll see it on Twitter. A black person will write on Twitter, you have to listen to the black people who are the real black people, the black people who black people listen to. No, no. There is a great deal of diversity in the black community, and I can tell you it is not the default in the black community to think of ourselves as pathetic. Yes, we can't has never been the slogan for black America, and it's not now. Yeah.